What's going on guys? Stefan from Aboot Gaming here. I just did a video on how to set up a duo stream with a program called NDI and now I'm going to teach you how we do our audio. The next video I'm going to make is going to teach you how to do um, the same thing with NDI like do a duo stream with video with capture cards but the audio is going to stay the exact same same way. Um, we, we have struggled with the audio for three years and voice meter banana has absolutely helped us with everything. Um, it's been just the easiest way to get the audio fixed. We also have a physical board as well. And I'll make another video on our exact setup and how we do everything right now. I'm just going to teach you how to get voice meter banana running and how to bring the audio from your streaming PC to your gaming PCs. So over on your streaming PC, when you get an alert, a host, uh, whatever you can thank for it, uh, say thank you. And both people hear it at the exact same time. And I'm going to teach you how to do that right now and how to separate your, uh, discord. So you guys don't, so you can hear each other in discord and people can hear you, but you guys don't loop. First things first, you need to go to vbaudio.com. The link will be in the description below. Click on audio apps. First thing you're gonna need, virtual audio cable. You're gonna need at least one of them, so download that one. More than likely, you're gonna need two. You have to pay for two. It's $5, it's a donation. I paid 15 because these guys are amazing. They do great work and it's made my life so much easier. So just get one for now, see if it works for you. Then you're going to need banana, voice meter banana. There's a couple different versions. There's a voice meter, banana, and potato. So you need it. So scroll down, download it, install it, restart, install virtual audio cable A, restart. And if you happen to get both, re install cable B and then restart again. You need to do that on both your gaming PCs, all of your gaming PCs, if you've got 10 of them, whatever it is you're doing, and then as well over on your streaming computer. Once you've installed everything, restart it a thousand times, open it up. It's going to look like this. When you install voice meter banana, it installs voice meter as well. So just make sure you open the banana version. It's got the cursive little banana here and it looks like this. You're going to want to click up here, set cable A and then click and add A1. So what this does, these are like channels or inputs. So they're all little columns here. So this is input one, two, three, virtual input one and virtual input two. I don't know the exact terminology. I'm not an audio engineer, so excuse it. Excuse me for my terminology. Um, so this channel is where all your audio is going to go to. And to get that done, you need to right click in your little speaker down in your taskbar, press on sounds, go to playback, scroll down, look for cable A, right click it and set as default device. And then if you ha have cable B, right click it and set as your default communication device. Unless you have a pair of Astros that have the two channels where it's game and chat or like Steel Series that has the game and the chat. That's the only time you're not gonna do that for cable B. The default communication device will be the chat side of your Astros or your Steel Series. So now, all of your audio on your computer goes to cable A because you just set it as your default device. So PUBG, all your video games you play, all Netflix you watch, Spotify, everything is going to go to cable A. But you're not going to be able to hear it yet because it's not going anywhere. It's just going to cable A. So you need to send it to your headphones. And you need to have voice meter banana running always when you have your computer now because you're never going to be able to hear anything unless this program is running. So cable A, all your sounds coming in. You'll hear, see it going up and down here. You won't have either of these checks. It'll look something like this. You're going to want to check K uh, A1. The reason I have A2 is my I use capture cards. This probably won't apply to you until I do my capture card video. So you're going to want to select A1. Make sure it's highlighted. And up in the corner here, you're going to want to set A1 as your headphones. So now what that does is it sends this channel to your headphones. You can send it to your speakers. You can, if you set all these things, you can send it all over the place. So let's say somebody came in your room and you want to mute all audio. Boom, right there, done. It's completely muted. It does not come to your headphones anymore. All the audio on your whole PC is still playing. It's still coming into cable A here. It's just not sending to your headphones. So you can now unmute or like un unmute so you can hear everything and you're good to go. So that's all fine and dandy. But the reason we got this video is we want our sound from our streaming PC to come over here. So let's go over to the stream PC and set that up now. You got your voice meter banana open. Again, you're gonna wanna set cable A up here, cable B if you happen to do so. And the reason we set cable B over here, let's, let's before I explain that, let's go to sounds again, 
go over to playback device. Cable A will be your default device. Cable B will be your default communication device. And I'll explain why. We have Discord and we made an account for Discord Discord called Chewbacca. You can call it stream PC, you can call it whatever you want. So when we're gaming, we have our streaming PC sitting in the channel with us. So Vanessa and I have our headphones on, our microphones go to each other, we're talking. If our friends come in, we can talk to them and communicate to them. However, our streaming PC will mute both both Vanessa and I in Discord. So it will not be able to hear us. It will only hear whoever comes into that Discord. So that will go into cable B and send out to our stream. So in OBS, we open up our OBS, we right click, we go to add audio output capture, and you'll name it whatever Discord like I have here. It's called Discord Cable B. Then also over in Discord, in voice and video, you'll have your output devices Cable B. So anybody that talks in Discord, anybody that enters the channel, anything, all the audio will go to Cable B, which will be this line right here. You do not want any of these things checked because it will loop if you do that. And then over in your OBS, where we did the Cable B, you're gonna right click it, you're gonna press properties, and you're gonna set this to cable B. So now what that does is all of the people that are chatting in your Discord, if you want your stream to hear them, it is now gonna be sent to OBS so your stream will hear them. If there somebody comes in that's inappropriate, uh, I would recommend doing a lock channel so nobody can just wander on in there. But if you're doing a community night and you drag them in there and they start being racist or whatever it is, swearing, you don't appreciate it, instead of kicking them right away, you can just click mute. You can just mute that right away. You can even put a hotkey on your Elgato Stream Deck to mute that um, that audio source right away. Whatever you do. But right now it's muted. Right now it's open. That's how we do our Discord. Now, for sending the audio, like our alerts and stuff, is cable A. So you're going to want to set cable A as your default communication device like we did. You're going to want to check A1. And you're going to want to select A1 up here, just like on our gaming computer. And we're going to select our, uh, like, where this computer here. So if it has headphones plugged in for whatever reason, you'll select the headphones. Whatever, wherever the audio needs to go. So this is just my sound card or drivers or whatever. So I select that. Again, go over to OBS. We're going to, right now I've got it right there, so I'm going to delete it. <clears throat> okay, so what you would do is you would right click. You would press add. Again, an output capture. Click it. You would call it alert audio or whatever. The reason it's called alert audio is it's technically all the audio on your computer is going to A1, but that computer's not doing anything but streaming. So the only audio it's going to hear is alert. So that's just why I call it alert audio. If you happen to run Netflix on that computer, it'll send to both computers alert audio. You got to go to properties and it needs to be cable A because that's where all the alert audio is going to be going because it's the default device on your computer. So cable A, cable B, cable A needs to have A1 checked. And the reason for this is because we're going to send this A1 now to our gaming computers. So again, just like we did on our stream PCs, A1 was our headphones, but now A1 is going to be our headphones over on our gaming computer. And I'm going to show you how to do that because it's a little bit weird. So what you're going to need to do with that is you're going to want to press a V ban up here. You're going to want to press on and you're going to want to do the exact same thing over on your street, your gaming computers. You're going to click VBAN and you're going to click on. Once you're done that, up at the top on your streaming PC and your gaming PCs, it's going to have a little IP address. So it's 192.168.0.5. It'll probably be the same for everybody except for the 05. Uh, yours might be 14, it might be 3, it might be 0, whatever. So what it's going to do is you're wanna, wanting to go down on your streaming PC to outgoing streams because you want this audio to go out. And you want to press on. You want to press bus A1, which is what this little guy right here is. So A1. Now you're going to want to name it alerts or audio, whatever the heck you want to name it. But just make sure it's exactly the same on all of the computers. Capitalizations, periods, forward slashes, whatever the heck it is. It has to be identical. So I named it alerts. And it's going to send the audio to .06, which is my uh, my gaming PC. And then it also sends it to .04, which is my wife's gaming PC. Everything else is the same. Back over to our gaming PC. 
up at the top here, we have it set at our IP as 06. So at the very top, again, your voice meter banana needs to be on, your VBAN is on. So incoming streams now. So I'm receiving, so I want to turn it on. Alerts is what it's named on my other one. So it needs to be the exact same as what you named it before. Capitals, everything. And I'm receiving audio from .05, the streaming computer IP. Everything else is the same other than the destination here. I'll click on it. I press input three. So this is input one, input two, and input three. I use three for nothing but alerts on my gaming PC now. So now when I get an alert, so so first of all, before I get an alert, when you're done this, you'll get a little green checkbox here on your gaming PC and your streaming PC. I don't know why I've got an error. When that happens, it's just you just need to restart voice meter banana over on the uh, streaming PC. You'll get a little green checkbox like this. So now over on my streaming computer, sorry for the scene swaps, I'm going to open my alerts and send a test alert. So this is a follow. I just got a follow three hours ago. So you're going to press that and the alerts are going to go off. So now your stream is going to hear those alerts. You guys probably just heard that because I've got it uh, into the stream, right? That's my, my audio on my stream. So again, let's go over to my gaming PC. I'm going to run an another alert. And what you guys are going to see is the audio come through here because we just set it to come in to number three right here. I asked it to come into number three. So I'm going to run that alert again. Boom, right there. You can see the audio happening. Now you can turn it up. You can turn it way down, whatever you want to do. Let's say you got hosted by Tim the Tapman or Shroud or Ninja or whatever. You're getting tons of alerts and you want to be super focused and be playing really good on Apex or PUBG or Overwatch, whatever you're playing. And you can't be bothered by these alerts right now and it's going crazy. You're getting hundreds of follows. Just click that right there. That just turned it off for you. So this A1 needs to be checked when you want to hear this, when you want to hear this, and when you want to hear this. So it's muted right now for everything. So unmute, unmute and it's still sending. That is all we do. If you want that next computer to do this, you literally just duplicate this on that other computer. You can do as many computers as this VBAN will hold. So as well, we also use a mix board, but we literally only use the mix board to have our microphones as one channel to eliminate echo. And I'll get into that in the next video. So I really hope this helped, guys. Thank you for watching. If you liked it, give a thumbs up. If you got questions, post them in the comments below or come to our Discord or our uh, Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash abootgaming. We stream uh, five to seven days a week. If you ask us in stream and I catch it in the chat, if chat's moving a decent pace, um, just post in the chat and I'll take the time out of our stream to help you along with it. I really don't mind. I love helping people. Uh, we both love helping people, so... And also Discord. Like, we've got an amazing Discord community that's very knowledgeable as well. And we're in there. We're active. And you can hit us up with a direct message on Discord. We're more than willing to help. So, really hope this worked out for everybody. Again, thank you for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Hit us with a follow on uh, Twitch. We'd really appreciate it. And I hope to see you guys soon. Really good luck with everything. Bye-bye.